we're in Midland, Ontario, and I'm at Canadian Tire because I have a project that's been on my mind, something I've been thinking about for quite a while, and I think I found the product that I need to complete this project. We're not doing the project today, but I'm gonna pop in here and see if this, see if this thing works. Okay, when I was online, it says that we're looking for aisle number 25. Hmm. Oh, this is it. Foam. Black foam. <laughs> They have two of these. I think this just might be enough. Heck yeah. <laughs> mm. I am actually really excited about this. We have the corner open here. Two and a half inches of gray foam, but this just isn't a block of foam. Check this out. These are cubed. There's little cubes in here and they go all the way through to the other side. So you can actually pick these cube sections out of here and open up spaces to put things. Or you could actually cut the cubes in, in like circled things and designs so you can make specific things fit in here nicely. So what my plan is, is I would like to line one of my drawers with this or part of one of my drawers anyway. And put items in here so they're rolled up nice and neat. So when you pull that drawer open, it's just like... Ooh, it looks super organized. But my plan is, I have some glassware that I ordered. So I wanna experiment with a tequila drawer. Yep, tequila. I love my tequila and it would be really nice to have a place where it's all organized, maybe a bottle of Don Julio and a nice little spot in there. Um, some nice glasses to drink from, so a few, few little shot glasses, maybe some bitters, some agave nectar all the stuff that I need to make a good old fashioned tequila. <laughs> so good. Kind of a cool thing to do. And that little foam stuff, um, I looked online, I searched it. And if you're looking for those organizer things, um, I've seen them online, they come in thinner than that one. That one's two and a half inches, which is perfect for what I need in my drawer. So if you're looking for stuff like that to organize your van, pick pluck foam or cubed foam are the two terms that I seem to have found um, a fair amount. It is super early in the morning. Um, I'm going to take off and go back to the Ray Outfitted property and uh, get some work done and um, get organized because we're going to be taking off to go on a little bit of a day trip with the crew. Um, it's gonna be fun because I've seen those guys do nothing but work, 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 work every day that I've been here. So today we're gonna pack up the vehicles and um, head out later this afternoon and um, go drink some beers. Getting them on this stuff is not always easy. Oh, hey. Hey, stay here. Hey, Crazy, look at Crazy, look at Hey, your life jacket fits, buddy. Hey. We're going to put you in a boat. What do you think about that? Tomorrow, buddy, we're gonna put you in a boat tomorrow. Hey. Oh, did you get put in a life jacket? Are we just trying to protect the little cruisy? Yeah. Are you ready, Cruzy? We're gonna go for a drive, buddy. We're gonna go for a drive. He looks so evil in that thing. I do? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't though? You yeah. look like you're about to rob the place. I am gonna rob the place. <laughs> oh, no. How's this? How does this work? Welcome to Ontario. 
Grabbing this giant. Should I really be grabbing this huge thing to buy beer or should I just grab like small little portions? Did you yeah. grab a big box too? Yeah. Oh, this is trouble. There's only a couple of different beers here. Yeah. Like just a few. Like look at look at them all. This is insane. <laughs> what are you doing? Two I'm friends. Looking up all the two beers. friends have checked it in. <laughs> It wasn't bad. Three sure. And a half for you. Okay, so if you've never seen this, this is an app where Rainer tracks all the beer that he drinks on the app and then rates it so he knows what he's drinking and what he hasn't drinking. So what he's doing now is picking things that he hasn't tried so he can log them in the app. It's kind of you need to gamify beer drinking. It's obviously. kind of, it's kinda of like a video game for adults. Watching you loading up. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish it with, with this one. This is good. I've spent three bucks in fuel just to go get beer before. <laughs> True. Now we're good for all. <laughs> so who says us dirty van dwellers don't come to town and live in our and live in our vans and spend what? What are we spending? Three hundred bucks in beer. <laughs> three hundred. We're trade stickers. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Gotta share the Weirdos Unite love, you know what I mean? Read that again. If the anchor is warm, it's sunny. Hold on, hold on, pause for a minute. Pause for a minute. You're supposed to. It says don't touch though. <laughs> so how do you know if it's sunny? Okay, what else? Cold, it's overcast, so can't touch it. Wet, it's raining. Moving, it's windy. White, it's snowing. Bouncing, it's an earthquake. <laughs> Gone, weather station is placed. <laughs> touch it. Oh, thank you. Touch it. Gross! Gross! Ew! <laughs> Somebody hold my hand. Okay, easy now. <laughs> cool. Why is it now that I'm 46, I'm starting to see these signs? I never really noticed these signs prior to. Now it's like, that's all I can see is like, you threw your back out the day after your birthday? Easy. No. <laughs> Looks like Madison's cooking. <laughs> I was like, what do you think they're doing in there? Madison's making food. Hey, what are you doing? Gaming and drinking beer. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys haven't seen the inside of their van, we'll do an updated van tour pretty soon and kind of show you guys this whole thing. We did one once on my channel, but it was like three minutes long, was that five? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Super short. It was one of those ones where I kind of filmed and my mind went somewhere else and I didn't have enough to barely, anyway. Let's give you a sneak peek. the back. Thank you. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. <laughs> Up here you'll see we're in 
Gravenhurst, Ontario, which is in the Muskoka. So the sign here says maximum four hour parking, no parking between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. between November and March. You know what that means? That right there nicely says you're allowed to park here overnight, except for in those months. Look how dark their van is. You can't even see in the front windows. Look at it. You can't see anything. They have these little black dividers on there. Totally dark. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the temperature, <laughs> so good. look at the colors on here. My camera is soaking wet. The temperature tonight is really good and this rain feels like the good old classic Vancouver rain. It's comfortable, it's not humid and sticky. Sleepy boy. All right. Was today ever a damn good day? It felt really good to get away from the property at Ray Outfitted with the crew at Ray Outfitted. Um, Madison and Rainer have been working a lot around the shop and I've been a guest on their property. So just sitting around there enjoying the time and being around people and having the ability to have conversations with people anytime I want, yet still by having my own privacy on the side of the shop and access to showers and, and laundry and fresh water and everything we could ever imagine. Um, it's been beautiful, but it's also been very nice today to get away from the shop with them and see them outside of their working element because that's all they've done since I've been here. A little bit of work on my van and a lot of work on other customers' vans. But it was sure fun tonight. <laughs> um, we got into, I think it was Gravenhurst. I think this is the town we're in now. And I ran into one of our subscribers. He followed me in. And really funny story. I wish my camera was rolling, but it wasn't rolling. Um, I lost Madison and Rainer at an intersection and I got stuck at the red light. They went through. They were trying to reach me on the radio. So I had their two way radios, not mine. And I guess there was a problem with one of them. So there was no communication. They've been trying to talk with me and I wasn't replying. But they went through the intersection and Rainer dropped Madison off on the side of the road and I didn't see it. So Rainer kept going when my light went green. I turned through the intersection and there was a little car behind me and there was a girl sitting there with her thumb out. It was Madison. She was hitchhiking. <laughs> so, cause Rainer had to go to do, do some business shopping and stuff. So him, Madison thought, Hey, let me jump out here and I'll just get in the van with Chrome. And she was hitchhiking and I wish my camera was rolling because it was the cutest thing ever. So I'm like, I pulled right over and I picked her up and the little car behind me drove by. Turns out when we got to the Canadian Tire parking lot, the guy that was behind me was a subscriber that was following me so he could come say hi to us. And then as soon as I got there, he's like, hey, you must know that girl you just picked up. And I'm like, why? He's like, because I don't know. I think Chrome pulling over and picking up a random hitchhiking girl is, I don't think that's something Chrome would do. I'm like, yeah, that's Madison. He's like, ah, I get it now. <laughs> so I guess from him on the subscriber point is like, I just pull over to pick up a random girl. Dude, if you seen a cute girl on the side of the road, wouldn't you pick her up? <laughs> I know I, I probably would, but uh, it was kind of fun. It was Madison and I wish my camera was rolling because those moments, yeah, it's, I wish I just had a constant camera crew around me to capture every great moment that happened instead of me just sharing the stories with you guys. Anyway, guys, we're going to let you guys go. We're going to go to bed. The time right now is 8.55 p.m., which is exactly my bedtime, <laughs> 9 p.m. Yep, I'm that kind of an old guy. All right, you guys, tomorrow should be a super, super fun day because me, Cruz, Madison, and Rainer, we're going to be getting on a boat or two boats. And Madison said she drives the fast one. Oh, this could be interesting. All right, you guys, see you on the next one. Stay weird, okay? Because normal just sucks.